Hi guys, I'm Vijay. I'm actually doing a project on speed control of three-phase induction motor using a field-oriented control technique. I will give you a brief description of the project which I have done. Currently, I am in the stage 1 of the stage 3 of my project. I will give you a brief description on how my project is built and we shall see a small uh, demonstration of the project. I have used uh, the technique known as field oriented control which I have not done it completely yet. Right now it's running under open loop. That's a V by F control. The algorithm is being executed in STM32 F4 microcontroller which you can see in the video right now. This is the microcontroller board. It's an ARM Cortex M4F. We have many peripherals for it such as ADC used for measuring analog voltages. You have communication such as UART and uh, you have PWM, a dedicated three-phase PWM for it. Uh, which includes your complementary PWM outputs along with dead time insertion which are very essential and to give you a brief description of this board this is the controller these are the LEDs which correspond to the PWM values which you will be seeing uh, in a short time this is an analog part used for varying the frequency which I have disabled right now this is uh, a UART communication, a serial communication bus which I've hooked onto the computer and uh, these are some of the test points which we can use to measure uh, the current inputs and outputs simultaneously and uh, these are the PWM outputs to our inverter. Let's have a brief description of the inverter. Inverter converts DC electric electricity into AC form of electricity here is in the three phase one. So this being a power circuit it should be isolated from the data circuit which we had faced problems earlier due to the ground loops. So for isolation we are using uh, an optical isolator here and this whole unit is being powered by a 24 volt power supply here we can see I'll tell you why it 24 volt. Okay, so these electronics, that is opto isolator, runs on 5 volts, so hence a 7805. There is a fan here for cooling the inverter that runs on 12 volts, so 7812 because we cannot give a 24 volt supply directly. And for the inverter, there is a 15 volt power supply, which I'll be explaining in a short while. The inputs from the microcontroller are inverted when in operation with opto isolators. So, in order to retrieve back the information, we use a NOT gate 74LS04, as we can see. Then, I have used a Mitsubishi intelligent power module, which you can see here, which has a capacity of uh, 1200 volts max and uh, continuous 30 amps plus 50 amp pulsed uh, sorry it's uh, 50 amps max 100 amps pulsed and uh, this actually converts your DC bus voltage which I'm giving here right now uh, I'm using a test motor which runs on 12 volts. This I have ripped off from a CD drive. I'm giving power to my DC bus voltage through an adapter. Here yeah, it's uh, rated at 12 volts, which you can see here. Sorry, it's rated at uh, 12 volts, one amps. So this uh, is just for indication whether the motor is running or not and uh, uh, these are your outputs and this intelligent power module has a special property of 
protecting itself by from overcurrents under voltage and uh, over voltage undercurrent sorry it's a uh, short circuit or an overcurrent is detected by the shunt resistor and uh, under voltage and uh, under voltage de detected inside the internal power module and over voltage with this zener diode here 24 volts so i have uh, hooked up uh, this microcontroller to my computer desktop which you can see here right now uh, this runs uh, this uh, whole program is uh, the code is written in Eclipse it's a very free version I'm using a real-time operating system of uh, free Artos, and I'm even using a command line interface provided by free Artos, which you can download it so let's see this in action okay so let's power it up so let's switch on or let's power up our controller first a USB I cannot input so this is powered up so let's start the serial communication so for serial communication I'm using a program known as a real term it's a serial communication monitor you can see it so the settings are it uh, runs on ANSI and uh, I am running it at 115.2 kbps sorry uh, I think I need to switch on the serial port switched on so let's detect this So I'm still not going to do that this in place. So the serial port is connected, which you can see it is uh, the glow and red power indication. So now let's uh, reset. So we have our uh, serial port, USB to serial converter, and the uh, serial port is on 5 inch in this 66. That's fine. Okay, so. so now uh, let's check. So now when you see the starting, uh, okay. So let me turn on the flash. So when I uh, reset my system, I get a serial console. You can see this. So you can see the PWM outputs, initial PWM outputs. As you can see the same. So let me see what are the registered commands. You can type help. So I'm typing help. H E L P. Sorry. Uh, H E L P. So for this uh, setup, I have uh, managed to get about eight uh, commands. So first one, we'll do it uh, line by line. Reset it resets the system. Okay, so next so clear C L E A R this clears the command screen. This is the reason why I've used an ANSI mode, not an ASCII mode, because there is an escape character for uh, uh, clear screen in uh, ANSI mode. Okay, so now let's uh, sorry type H E L P so let's read the sensors sensors value are not connected at the moment but still you know you can read uh, the floating values so r e a d s e n s o r read sensor so these are uh, four sensors so you can see as i change my what here you can see the value right now it's 
1.256 uh, if I change it and do the same you can see it has changed 2.609 so it's working okay so the next command next command is uh, get frequency so this I'll be using then uh, okay so let's try it as get frequency which tells the frequency of the system uh, it's in zero hertz right now there is no operation here and uh, next one is set frequency you can see the frequency right now there is nothing here nothing going on nothing zero so let's set it to uh, 5 hertz say so now it's set to 5 hertz you can see it in operation you can see it right okay so there is a direction setting brake and stop I think that would be appropriate when the motor is running so now let's reset the system and see it with the motor turned on so let's reset the system okay so now let's turn on our inverter and switch to the here. You can see it was started. Let's start the inverter. So the motor is powered up. So I'll keep the motor here. So convenience. Okay. So now let's saw uh, switch on our VUD VDC so one second and so I'll stand by so now let's uh, switch this is turned off so as we said we have our frequency turned off ok so now let's uh, let me take it back so that you can see the motor So now I am entering a set frequency of 40. You can see the motor running. Right. So set frequency 40. So now let's reverse the direction of it. S E T T I R of 1. That's anti clockwise. You can see it's rotating opposite. So now let's uh, break it. Let's, you can see it's stuck. It's not going to move. You can see it with your this indication. You can even stop, which cuts the supply to your motor. S T O P. You can see there is no side turned on and. It is free to so uh, I have just made a small modification in which you can pass your commands uh, simultaneously at a fixed interval so let's see that uh, real time offers a speciality for you in which you can send your commands so I go to send uh, send file so I have created a file with the same commands okay so Sorry. So let's uh, browse for the file. Okay, so let's see that file once. So we'll have a clarity. So this is the file. So first it breaks, then it moves in clockwise direction a speed of 35 uh, hertz that is frequency of 35 hertz 
then it gives a break command it gives a set air one which stands for anti-clockwise direction set frequency of 5 for uh, uh, 5 uh, hertz frequency and then stop so this we are going to run in a sequential loop uh, which I'm going to use uh, by means of uh, real-time software so let's send this uh, code so I'm just sending the code right now so let me keep a zero of 50 commands will be sent at 1.2 seconds they will be repeated forever and let's uh, send you can see the motor and operation thirty five frequency break set error zero and uh, five sorry set error set error zero thirty five hertz break set error one five hertz frequency stop so thank you friends for seeing this uh, video hope uh, I reach my stage 2 which is a closed loop so currently this is running in an open loop so I think this week I would be able to pull this uh, off with uh, a real motor that's a 1 HP induction motor so this is a small motor it's a BLDC so we may not have the full potential of it so with an induction motor I will upload another video and uh, till then thank you